I actually... Hi, this is Laura, mother of five, an author. And this is a mother of three, a practitioner on the side. We are two years and our families. Worlds. Here we talk about family and time thing out long-term career goals most out of life. This is Laura. This is E2, which is airing at the very 2022. We off on some of the numbers, but anyway, uh, the elementary school year, certainly we've done various age episodes over the years talking about teens, talking about babies and the elementary years is of course, roughly ages six to 10. Like any age and stage, it comes, you know, since that's where many look at that age and stage, but we're, you know, as we're, we're dealing with kids. So yeah, we just, uh, to figure out a good transition. It's just that I have been very... TBT meaning tranquility. Not throwback Thursday. Yeah. That's, and I just thought doing this cool thing where on her metrics that she talks about, and I just thought check that out. And favorite metrics are the ones that I'm effortful before F little adventures. Do you want to talk about... I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but <laughs> yes, like... All right. People are going to be... By the time it comes out in October, right? So yeah, there's nine management rules and I'm... I talk about all of them in the book. And then in this series on my blog of the TBT scorecard, I say how I did over the, in all of these different, Sarah's talking about us, which is when you challenge yourself to do a lot of us, if you have small bits of leisure through your day, right? You just even at night after the kids go to bed, be whatever is right in front you'd like to do. And I'm not Twitter again, but thing else first, like read a book, scroll on Twitter all night, but flow of events. So thankfully I have scrolling habit and the time. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> But for me, it could be like playing a game, seeing the violin. But for me, Everful can be as simple as like thinking about which Netflix show I'm and then like cozying up, like clicking away, check, et cetera. Sex Lives of College Girl, Kaling series. It's very quick. Don't watch it. Incredibly delightful. Fruitful, but like I looked forward to it every time I got to watch it or ritual. So I was like, this is my show. So I don't know. Adventures are tough for me, though. <laughs> yeah, that one that adventure, one little adventure, but one bigger out of the ordinary that takes you half a weekend day. So something out of the ordinary or so. So maybe doable on a day to day. And that's wonderful. Memorable is doing something you to focus on the time. So I challenge people to one little adventure every week. So how, how's that going, Sarah? Well, I was just thinking about this week's big adventure. And I think hosting Annabelle's 10th birthday party at a painted pot because I haven't ever been, haven't seen in a long time some effort. So I'll count a little adventure. It's something I do. I guess my adventures tend to be social. Our new neighbors, oh, that I would, I would consider that. Sounds great. That's well, different, right? Like new into the week can be different, right? The, of any sort could qualify. Yeah, that sounds great. And I'm sure many of these rules on, and I'll be writing about, you know, hopefully people can tune in, seeing if they are doing hmm, one episode per topic again. <laughs> Just get age, by the way, for having adv- They older three children, for instance, are, and even when, uh, you know, Michael has traveled some with Alex, uh, but they don't have to pack much. When I packed with the kids was, and like, two, they don't have all the uh, to come with us at two. <laughs> and they can carry their own stuff we're talking about earlier, that they are independent people, their own, you start to see, they are learning not totally jaded, as you see some of the, you know, darker and more, how to say, but the serious aspects of her, whereas little kids, fun and like on cool playgrounds and they get to show it and you snuggle with you which is little kids and old. my six, seven-year-old alec snuggles we do at night like it's a bonus hug bonus kiss then like roped into it too doing that at age like 15 great but you know the elementary years i mean you're, they, they're still yeah snuggling. these definitely definitely are and i'm doing them but i also know patients that kids changing going away and on the podcast but like even the kid not going to have like a rebellion and be fine. They're the sweetest. My experience is mostly with, with ones I really follow over, over enough that I've had kids who I like had to watch them go through like, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> After <laughs> the good news is I do see that they tell outsiders perspective. So like, I know it's sort of temporary. Yeah. But anyway, back to, back to elementary and away from teen, teenhood, but yeah, their own, like seeing which you try to predict, get it entirely wrong, developing interest that do for life. Like I think turned out, like, I mean, when their interests are, are real, watch them get better at something super cool. Cameron, I could never do that. He does artwork has. F- so that is just expected that to happen. One has different talents and or like my sense of direction is so to go. Like, and they're, <laughs> that's they're actually that's hilarious. Yeah. I think one of the, the cool things about from you and they also see how they in some ways too. And we can remember school. Like you don't remember what you were like school or whatever. And so it's hard kid what, what I was like in this. But you know, you have memories of elementary school. And so you can see some of the parallels. It was so funny. The other day in the car, Sitters Club books, 
But I was thinking, you don't have to tell me them too. And in fact, I'm probably, you know, forcing my parents to listen to a recitation babysitters club at conversation must have occurred years ago. So funny to, to see that. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I wish I kept them. I can get them from you. <laughs> Random other person I'm like buying the series off of. Uh... No, it's really fun. And it is stand the test of time, certain interests. Obviously our kids describe and we'll get to that. Um, so our childhoods are not yet. There are definitely still some parents. Quick ad break and then we can come back to about the elementary school years. So what is something that you are finding challenging about this? Oh my gosh, the, (laughs) they're such, and because it's impossible to divvy up everything, this result, they get to an age where they start to, I think it's a a very fun age for a lot of sibling bickering. They're pretty big and powerful. Stop to a physical altercation. That, I mean, both of them come like one and three and you're like, oh. Yeah, a little bit harder to read those into a lather. I know one thing a lot changing, um, with this age, obviously, if you have a younger child, in our case, you need full-time care. And so, for instance, that winds up their kids as well, if they have a day off, if, you know, stuff like that, younger child, or there's there's a big gap. I know a lot of people don't care anymore. It's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> School is not child care. And as we saw, first wind up completely up. And particularly if you have and the inherent problem, if you people who would for child care that a lot of people are all that kids have after school like need somebody driving them around people don't wind up just doing school. right there and I don't have any immediate plans to change anything but I definitely think about it more and more my kids school does actually um and they all go to the same school go to the same school for for more of like a lot of um, work day often they're the offer same with like spring break I feel like I am in a situation I'm almost it makes sense to do that but that we really to do for us like eat one night which sometimes I do have meetings that go nights. It's very um, difficult to make that happen well and trust and is willing to do things like that. So found myself like paying for a lot more care. I mean, everything and more. But this age, they're not really old enough to care for themselves. I mean, maybe like an older elementary school kid for, you know, 30, 45 minutes while you have to run an errand or something. Some fifth grade might feel comfortable with them maybe off a bus and parent gets home and another thing. So they're, you know, it by the, certainly for the younger ages of a stage to figure out what a lot of our listeners have suggested for your family. If you have, if you have say a basement, you know, an office that could be a bedroom, the upside of can, jobs that are mostly ability, the au pair can help with the, both of you needed to be at work, have to do both before care. You care when the kids get home up and drive them around as the case may be. But to somebody who lives somewhere else that goes from seven to nine in the morning, which again, is just not a want to, take. That's certainly an option that a family, um, just because we do have a younger kid who needs a lot of attention, is trying to attention to the elementary still need and to do when you've got a little. But we have tried to do a thriving as one way kids, and then doing so actually took Alex to bring break. They were going to funeral for part of it, but then went to Disneyland. So, you know, it was good for them to. Yeah, that was like Josh here. Great father. son. He's at a good age for travel. So, so yeah. I don't know if you have this struggle as much is to me upper years. I mean, it gets, I struggle much to help, how much to push, how much to care because I am worried. I mean, doesn't even have grades in the elementary school years. So there's really no pressure in terms of that. But I do want to make less structured curriculum. So sometimes I do worry about these things, especially if they're not pushing themselves a little bit. And sometimes lead to every kid. And I've had different kids struggle with different. It's also been really interesting to see effortlessly. And that's how so homework conflict while you still have childcare. It's like so hard on kid. And then then you have them like sit there while they do it. You can prompt them to be helping with math problems, but you want them to learn how to do it and new with this, obviously. We just had that weird situation, you know, in early 2021. And, you know, it's now it's more never established certain rhythms. I am- in a way, now with the homework in this for the subject of this, um, does, which we may also have, did that high school and middle school can be challenging on an academic front for many. Bad for us. I mean, partly, and it's just where we are right now. My fourth grader, you know, very academically oriented and uh, is, you know, you know, you recognize like this is like, is there other work? Let's go see what else I got. So that the, with the first grader in general and has to be dragged. <laughs> if he doesn't grow up type, I will be shocked. <laughs> yeah. But, but like for his home, do it any of the nights is from the list. Usually there's like at least two minutes. So it's a few minutes and then then it's done. But uh, yeah, it's 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 not enjoyable, but at least it's not so elaborate at this point that we'll see yours. 
I feel like weekly homework situation. I get how it can be. God, do we struggle weekly basis because I just got my homework. Oh, it's Friday on the weekend. Oh, it's Monday. And it's like, Tuesday. it's like every <laughs> single week. They assign and then do more manageable thing because it's something that could make it. Another aspect to me is dealing intensity. And so relative right, which what comes out. So they're talking to you in a way that is like having a conversation with a normal person and lying on the couch, what a young child weigh on something experience. I gotta say, you know, just been, been adult language and, and you, you have this outburst. I don't know what there is to be to have conversation about how they're processing things, the cool new things. They might want to be understanding tool six to 10 comes out. Like, um, the under listening to a little bit more recently, challenging to implement valuable when is a nice word <laughs> it's <laughs> happening in the moment, but it's a nice, nice thing to aim for. Like, okay. This yeah. Yeah. I mean, just children of mine have, you know, had this huge discussion of like the, the Dyson sphere or something. The position the of everyday life. Of screens at, like when we were in elementary school. Hard to remember elementary school as much, but certainly by the time I was in middle school, I like came home from school and did homework while dinner. And then I didn't watch at night, I guess, because I didn't have a TV in my room. Good job. We're just like very much off at a certain point And I went to bed. Easy to go to bed kind <laughs> of couldn't be. So it was screen time. There was like a plenty. <laughs> there's a lot of devices. There's televisions. There's likes. And, you know, I, we all need there is outside playtime. But, you know, the screens are going to. I've also been fascinated to see it just. So we've we've set up, you know, I, I want to appreciate that that's just, you know, not that it's wild because um, we didn't. It is something are playing together, a, you know, there for if they're not terrible or something. <laughs> That the difference and why I think is that they're so much more fun and exciting than they were back then. And so I don't think there was that much of a re getting so obsessed with watch. Only thing I wanted to do. Do you think for our, sometimes I see that where I think about and like everything else to get to my screen time. And I hate that. Mm -hmm. I hate that. It makes me want to do. I don't mind you enjoying screen. Need there to be like some balance there and technology. I mean, they were trying to make it as fun as possible, like almost well, and, and one of the things we have, <laughs> Alex would games and, and play them. And then, you know, but other people playing the games in particular at is okay. And some of them a bit more adult, like the wings and talking about it. And it's just so hard to draw the line because I don't want to watch all of it with it's it. Just, it's like if he gets an hour of screen time, like that's what he's going to go find. And there's no real good way to Minecraft video. But I know that it's a Minecraft video as opposed to a Minecraft video. That's like somebody talking in a way I wouldn't want my seven year old exposed to. It's really hard to that one. See that the Minecraft love specific creators that my mm -hmm. husband has vetted more than I have because I kind of stay out of the whole video game world and watch with her. So, I mean, it helps that YouTube does um, things but yeah it is to police because then but then i'm like but there are some buying things on the internet uh, so it's hard yeah that's harder in friendships oh those are to manage start to rear its head Our kids are feeling x times and i guess all sort of set apart from each other like one way but uh we're navigating those rules the emotional friendship building relationship it's hard and you know when how the world works that this is a short period can be challenging as well and it's hard to know fix it and it's almost like they'll tell you like are you looking for an answer can't call this person's mom you know what i mean you get to a point where their friend struggles are real and to do is really listen and acknowledge them as you can make is like oh that like no if you think sure there was stuff that felt so like give it it has to the kid or the value that is important school kids are probably still willing to you know be the set about other things and I want to just go ahead and transition uh, for the week, which is cast. When did you having kids? I had babies in the course of this podcast. I guess we weren't done when this started. This particular listener and cannot stop thinking, even though it is so. Sarah. Oh, reminiscent. I mean, know the answer here, Bill. I think the one thing people wonder is like, will I never feel done? Will I just keep feeling this after each subsequent kid? Like, what about a six? I mean, whatever. I can tell you it really felt pulled to make things more difficult logistically having engine for each kid like how many, how many rooms in our house etc i just kept thinking about it and the over having was like i not doing this if i said i love very much but like a third one would be like and family um and i did of those feelings 
extent, extent after Genesis. There is a point in my experience, one might be like, I am so grateful. And I really am. Like it was, it's like, it's hard to like, I feel very, very child. And it feels like the right, imagine it any other way. Her, I was never like, and I could have aged her at 37. That's, you know, certainly on the upper end, but people have kids lots older than that but I didn't want to, and I definitely still don't want. So that's my experience. If this person is thinking about it sort of wistfully of, you know, things, um, in which case thing the two of you would have to discuss. Both of you are interested in, and you're constantly thinking about another child in your life. Being logistically difficult through what would be challenging for you, like what concerned about and solve them. Aspects of having a baby, the difficult a great many things that people with babies during pregnancy had a lot of people mention when we had to go about somebody thing at work, you don't have to pump. <laughs> like if that of your last baby's life and very unhappy, like, like maybe that aspect of your life and that could be, it was that you needed additional child uh, and that you didn't have challenging for you. Well, maybe that's something not do something else financial that you put money. Sp- are you most concerned? Is there a way that I could them? Then that might with the decision making. If you're sure. yeah, well, I mean, we love to, of course. You know, what? How did you make when you had? I'm sure there's a thought about this. Um, sometimes of choice. Um, sometimes directions. People have fewer babies than they want. People have more babies than they want. It can go both ways. Uh, so, meanwhile, our love of the week is going to be QR ubiquitous these days. Like the fact that you can scan. You know, it's scan like off and I anymore. feel like QR. Since Apple made their camera like a QR reader. reader yeah, and no. they became like L- just take a, you know, and then go straight to whatever to do or, but and stuff like that, you know, information encoded in that own and don't have to print things and give them to people lost. Although of course your phone could get lost or run out of bed, not have internet access. Uh, I have a new plan. Oh, we should tell listeners. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah sure. I mean, it seems functional. I don't really love the 2022, 2023, but oh, well, I mean, I don't really kind of is open most of the time. So the cover is really, yeah. Hobonichi like layout. I'm Lock and Oak. There's a full review by the time the plans if you're interested in hearing like this planner, but I nice. Well, Hemlock and Oak. Uh, well, this has been best mostly about the elementary ages six to ten. Uh, upsides and its challenges. We'd love you are not liking what you're still trying to figure out. If you have a more than that and would like to share it, please reach out to us as well. This has been best of both worlds, uh, making work and life fit together. Thanks for listening, Laura at the shoebox. Laura at Laura. This has been the best. Please join us next.